Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and I wanted to do a review of the Nanook Nano 310. And you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order this online. It actually comes in a variety of colors. And just to read before I unbox what it says here, it says protective web, uh, molded seal, rubberized interior belt loops, polycarbonate, carabiner loop, power claw latching. So I'm going to show you how this thing works here. You could use this for a variety of things. I mean, obviously something that you want to keep better protected and, and dry is the optimal use for it. So if you're on a boat or jet ski or you're going to the beach and you just want to make sure that you're better ensure that your items stay dry, this is a good way to do it. So that's just the packaging there. I'm going to put that to the side. But this latch right here is really cool. So basically the way it works, you push down on this and then you pull out on this. And it's rubberized so even if your hands are wet, it's probably easy to latch, to, to grasp. So then that goes up and then boom, you got the inside. You've got this webbed area. Uh, maybe you've got some credit cards or something that you want to stick in there. Uh, it comes, comes with some stickers, so I'll just use these for demonstration purposes. So see, there's the webbing right there. And you can put that back there, which is super nice. And then you've got this big area right here. So, you know, maybe I want to put a wallet. It's a standard size card wallet right there. It's got some credit cards in it. And then maybe a camera battery. And an SD card for camera. Let's see if all that'll fit. Bam! So it's closed up now and I can uh, can use the wrist strap. It's got this little adjustable, adjustable piece here if I wanted to make it tighter I guess. Um, so yeah I could use the wrist strap to carry it. And it is, let's see, if this how this adjusts here. So that stays attached. And then this, oh, this has, um, yeah, so if you wanted to, yeah, let's see. And it did come with an instruction manual. I'm just trying to. You know how I am. I like to figure stuff out on my own. So, so yeah, you could play with the strap adjustment if you wanted to. And then, uh, let's see. So again, to demonstrate how to open it. Oh, before I do that, it does have a pressure equalizer right there. You can see it says pressure equalizer. Just a really impressive latching mechanism. And if you had a really small camera or something like that it may may be able to fit in here as well. Let's see if this wrist strap is uh, removable and it is. See? So if you don't want the wrist strap, you can see it's on there now, but if you squeeze, then that just pops out. So then you can use it without the wrist strap if you choose to do so. And then it's got these little slots right here, so maybe if you want to attach it to uh, to some sort of webbing or something, maybe a, maybe a backpack when you're backpacking. You know, maybe there's some uh, some small items you want to better organize and or uh, better keep dry. This is a it's a good way to do it. And and I failed to mention the the corners are kind of a semi soft type material, so that if you dropped it, you know it, it may better provide a rugged ruggedization for this case. But I really like the bright color, especially for something that's going to be used on the water because that bright color will, um, if, if it does fall in the water, it'll, it'll be easier to see. 
And something else worth mentioning, this strap can go in on this side, but then there's also a side over here. So if you didn't want it uh, on that side, you could put it on this side. It's a cool case. Again, check the link within this video's description and you can find where to, uh, where to order it online. And be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix guy. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day.